Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Hour 2. My name is Altvarn, and we're off to do a mission called Grassy Knoll. We're going to meet up with a guy who calls himself the Third Man. Yes, it's all very mysterious and sounds quite iffy if you ask me, but we will find out eventually because we're nearly there. Now, finishing uh, our little trip with the autopilot here because, you know, the autopilot, of course, wanted to go through an L point. And I didn't. We didn't get long along with that, so... So we are now here. And let's talk to this third man dude thing. Talk to me, dude. Hey! Don't ignore me! Just because I didn't fly perfectly through your waypoint does not give you the right or the entitlement to not talk. Or I could just do this properly, and now we come to a halt. Good to meet you, Mr. Johnston. Like we need you to stop a Mars undercover agent reporting back to Mars security. He was undercover within the MCA, and has stolen many MCA secrets. Ooh. If we provide the weapons and location, can you stop him? Mm -hmm. It's worth three pots of gold. Yes. He's as good as dead. Good. The traitor is on the NIMAS security station in Santa Romera, preparing to be debriefed. One of our agents has placed a beacon on the station near the room where they are holding the traitor. When you're in position, our agent will activate the beacon, allowing you to blow the room out with this long-range cannon. You will find a long-range cannon in this pod. Take it and fit it to your ship. We've left the cannon's ammunition and the beacon comms codes in a pod labeled Books in the cargo field near the station. When you dock to the Books pod, the cannon will auto-load and the beacon will become active. The rest is up to you. Don't fail, or the MCA will suffer a major security breach. When you've done it, come back here. I'll have your gold waiting with some independent haulers I know. Sure. I can't wait to get back to base and fit that cannon. Smith is gonna love it. But except for the fact that we're not gonna pick it up ourselves. No, no, no. No, we're gonna have Jazz do that. Because if we do it, for some odd reason, this stupid mission bugs. I can bring in this cargo pod. I can also take cargo pods with me. But if I dock, pick it up, go to Lucretia's base, it will not appear in my inventory. It will simply be gone. I don't know why, I don't care, because, you know, it's what we pay Javs to do. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys back at the base when, uh, when we've picked up this pod. I'll see you there. And we're back. So, let's fit this cannon to our ship and it'll actually fit on a recall dampened station so now we save there we go and I'll see you guys in space so in space we are and let's go to the target location. Oh, for shooting, but it's fun. And unnecessary, because uh, Lucretia's base doesn't generate an LDSI field. I suppose that would be suspicious. You don't want to give a signal, you know, if you're especially if you're a pirate base. A wanted pirate base at that, no way. So what else is there to do? Mama Wolf. I think we'll do that one next. 
Uh, perhaps in a different video though. I'm not sure yet. It's um, it's interesting to, um, to uh, actually and tricky to get the timing right on. Uh Oops. I'm talking and I'm not paying any attention. Um, it's actually tricky to get the timing of your videos a bit, uh, you know, in certain limits when you're uh, doing a sandbox type game. Because, um, you know, if you, for example, my first LP, Galsiv, that was actually really easy. Because, you know, you could basically stop whenever you wanted to. It's not really a problem. Where am I going? Pretty sure I've got the autopilot engaged. That's a distract, that's a convoy. You have got to be friggin' kidding me. Ah, stupid thing wants to use an L point. I don't want to use an L point, you douchebag. Ah, uh, no, I'm stuck in it. I'll see you guys when we hit this. Ah, oh, you know what? Suffer it with me. Ah, <laughs> uh, goodness, goodness, goodness. I'll make a great pilot one day, but not today. Ah. Oh. I wish there was some kind of override which you could just tell it, dude, it's in system. Fly towards it and don't mess it up. There we go again. Fucking hell. Now we're on the proper side of the L points of wait, the base, so maybe this will not be such an issue now. We got a 25 kilometer exclusion zone up. Best stay well away from that till you're ready to take your shot. Yeah, I hear ya. Okay, let's uh, dock with the books. What type of cargo is this anyway? It doesn't even show up on uh, the target list, actually. That's interesting. Alright. And we just load it up. There we go. So now... The beacon should be lit. Light the beacons! I know. Horrible reference for a game like this, but... Oh well. Pod, Reapers, yeah, okay, books. Target, there we go. Now, at some point... Meeting room window. Oh right, I got the window. Wait, that's a waypoint. That's not actually the target. This is a mask securities restricted zone. Leave immediately. I this have this. is a restricted area. Leave immediately or be fired upon. Oh, please shut up. Whoa! I'm alright, Cal. Don't worry. Yeah, not exactly as I planned it. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so I did have to fire at the waypoint. Okay. Not the smoothest run, but still we got it. And that's all that matters to me. Let's get out of here quickly. And of course we have been hit by an LDZI missile. That's okay though. 
So now we all need to do is just go to the meeting point. And before we do that, we're going to save the game. For no particular reason. Actually, I'm hoping that the uh, auto dock will kick in and slim it. <laughs> Allow us to actually skip the wait for the uh, LDSI inhibitor field. But I guess that's not going to happen. So I'm, uh, I'm just going to cut this out and see you guys back at the base. So on second thought, the auto, pilot, auto dock pilot doesn't want to work. And uh, I guess it's just because we're still in the middle of this mission. Or whatever reason it might be. So uh, since we're really close to this... Um, well, since to the meeting point where we're supposed to meet with the um, independent haulers. We will have our gold. Three gold pods. And we want our gold now. It's a nice little fantasy reference if you ask me, like getting paid in gold? No really. I'm actually used to that. Getting paid in gold. It's more interesting than credits by any me <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. Looks like Larry, Moe and Curly. I'm pretty sure that's a reference to something. And I'm, I have to admit, I don't know what. Alright. So. Place your bets if... Uh, ah, you must be Mr. Johnson. We have quite a large delivery for you. I hope you don't mind, but we ran a UCP scanner over these pods while we were waiting. In fact, there was so much gold, we decided to take it for ourselves. Goodbye. Have you guys met me? <laughs> I'm, sure this, I'm sure you all thought this was going to end really well for you, but... You're wrong! Nobody gets between me and my gold. Gold, gold, and gold. Right. Jabs, get your lazy ass over here. So while he's uh, picking up that gold, uh, we... We will in fact not be waiting for that. So I'll see you guys uh, back at the base and uh, we'll make plans for the future. See what else is uh, in store for us. We still got a mission here, Mama Wolf. But uh, we'll think about that when we hit base. Okay, see you guys there. Okay, so that was it for the mission, and we have now got three pots of gold, which I'm sure will be extremely useful. <laughs> Ah well, it's the thought that counts. But um, I do have some real life obligations I need to see to now, and uh, unfortunately that means that this movie will end, and uh, it'll be one of the shorter ones. But that's okay. Okay then. Uh, so, once again, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys uh, for the next uh, video. My name is Altarn, and goodbye for now.